Darian lost mentality, but it's just that Esam had that fortitude. Bring it back around to do the same strategies he was doing on game one and two that gave him those solid wins and then bring it back around yeah. to what he needed. All right, so it looks like we're going to have Wolf versus Fox here. Um, Tweak actually getting upsetted from Schroeder, the Greninja, um, was pretty much against the Wolf for the most part. Game five, Tweak did switch to the Wario, but it, it seems like Tweak definitely very comfortable with opening up Wolf for the most part in most of his sets, and I don't blame him. Wolf is a very strong character to open with. I, Not a, like a very well-rounded character. Yeah. I mean, what talking about before, I think uh, ZD, I mean, no, most notably at Frostbite, taking out Zachary in the loser's bracket, who basically played the same characters that Tweet does. You know, Wolf, and he switched off to Wario, and it didn't quite work out. So ZD, he might have uh, something going here. Yeah, and a lot of people will say that Zachary is the best wolf, but I've uh, I've had some conversations with Tweak, and he actually thinks he's the best wolf. So <laughs> <laughs> definitely not surprised there. And I mean, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Tweak is the best wolf. He's essentially the best player that plays like a lot of characters. So, and there is the forward tilt, the back air. Wait, to set for the down air. Not gonna connect though. Wow! But the up smash gonna scoop the illusion, and I believe Wolf actually low profiled underneath that illusion. <laughs> That was crazy. I mean, yeah, I, I, I thought I saw Fox way far away from that up smash, but it still picked him up, and he's able to get that stock and get that down throw into the dash attack. Great combo starter. So let's see how he makes it back up. Okay, just a simple upbeat back to the stage. Oh, wow. Empty land into the reverse jab there. Jab definitely known for being Wolf's, like, not so great, like, move, be just only because um, people will fall out of it sometimes, out right. of the jab, too. Oh, Nutri Air, oh, unfortunate. Thought he was going to land back onto the stage, but unfortunate SD. But Tweak's still up quite a bit of percent here, so I think he'll be fine. Okay, now back into Nutri here. We're going to get some baby lasers. ZD getting that landing back air, big damage here, and as well as the parry. Man, what's up with these Fox players and these uh, these parries, man? I mean, it's like, okay, if I'm not going to be able to win neutral, let's just uh, wait for them to come to me and then uh, get these parries going. Oh, mm. trying to get that back air, not quite going to work out, though. Yeah, that back air actually might have killed as well. Oh, trying to get this down smash. Ooh, the illusion barely clipping and pretty much an even game. Wow, misses the dash on the up smash there. Oh, Tweak trying to go deep for this backer, not working out. Oh, trying to go for the up smash. I'll trade you with an up smash of my own. And ZD going to be able to take out that next stock. Okay, these backers trying to connect and find this mark, but ZD doing a really good job staying away from all these really big and strong hitboxes that Fox has to, or Wolf has to offer. Yeah. How does he make his way in? Of course, ZD, a very aggressive player, will always uh, try to go in for that committal option or mix it up with the non-committal options on his opponent's shield. Wow, the laser almost got that edge guard there, put him in a really bad position there. But he's going to be able to bring himself back, and now he's going to attack on the damage with that miss tech, wow. already taking him to 70%. And once you hit a straight up air with Fox, it's damage time. You can get so much. And right now, maybe even a grab here will kill, get the kill for Tweet. Oh, but no, going to go for the dash tag there. Going to catch ZD running backwards there. And right now, and this is another thing about Wolf. Both these characters, their damage output is insanely good. The jump call out, no jump here. Up air, still live here on Tweet. Yep. All right, just one weak nair. That's what I'm looking for to try and bring things back around and okay. potentially close out the stock. Oh, not going to get anything. Down smash. Puts him in a really bad position. Doesn't clip him there. Yeah, Tweak trying to get something started, but ZD is not giving it to him. The spacing so, so good. Oh, try to find a mix-up on that low percent. The B reverse, but does not find anything. Takes the skies, and that out smash is going to be a great anti-air yep. to take out the first game. ZD going to go up one game here. Yeah, ZD with a solid read there. He knew Tweak wanted to get some kind of aerial pressure started, and that's a lot of damage comes from Wolf's aerials. And right there, just a really good call out once again. So. Man, game number one going to ZD here. We'll see if Tweak can bring it back. And like we've said time and time again, Tweak is definitely the number one seed here at this tournament. We'll see if he can make this loser run all the way to grand finals and take that summit spot. Yep. All right. We're pretty much seeing exactly what happened with the Zachary set, minus that Zachary won uh, game one, I believe. And then uh, because they did a wolf diddle. And then he switched it to Fox, did a lot better. And now at that point, Zachary switched to Wario. Well, let's see. I mean, he was able to. <laughs> beat Zachary's Wario. Let's see if, but Tweak's Wario is a different story, so we'll have to see. Yeah, Tweak definitely, um, I, I would say it's uh, pretty undisputed best Wario, but right now ZD don't even care. He is racking up the damage, 64, and but now Tweak getting something started here. All those fares, strong hitboxes, gets that landing uh, Nair that is so big for Wario's combo potential, but he gets it at the ledge, not able to find anything, but still the ledge trapping, working really nice. I love that the B reverse command grab comes in there clutch, catching him on shield. 
Ooh, the drift back forward tilt, and that's one twing thing that Tweak is so, so strong at, is his ledge trapping. His ledge trapping is so good. And right now, getting back on the stage here, referring back to neutral, but the Nair into the up smash. Wario staying alive, that little extra meat is what Tweak <laughs> needed. Yep, oh, but a turnaround up smash takes out the next stock again, ZD playing so focused right now. He has not moved or flinched at all as he sit, sits up there on that stage. No double jump, trying to get that illusion to the ledge, but really great spacing coming out from ZD. Okay, the, ooh, the auto canceled there, and that's where the big damage comes, especially at 0% here for Fox. What's the edge guard? Tries to get the Nair. Oh, he actually does get it. Not quite gonna be able to find an edge guard though. Makes it back to the ledge. Oh, and the illusion comes in. Gets oh, another big man. combo. Takes him off the top. Not quite gonna be able to take the stock though. But already 89%. Finally gonna close things back around with that back air. And that's one thing that Fox is so good at is racking up that damage. Like I said, once he gets one up air started, there is many, many more to follow. Oh, then weak Nair into up smash. Not quite gonna be able to do it yet. But gets another Whoa. weak Nair. Still keeping up the pressure, but he gets that landing there. We're gonna get the claps in. Gets another one. But finally oh. ends it there, not gonna get that up tilt. Man, almost losing that stock as well, able to make it back, but the down smash call out from ZD, now up two stocks to one here against Tweet. I mean, if ZD puts himself in a game three final position, that would be huge for him, especially against the number one player in the world right now. Oh yeah, wait, the tech chase and the up tilt to the WAF, the equalizer here for Wario, but he has used it on the second stock, so we might not really see it here for that third stock. Yeah, I mean, besides the waft, Wario still has some reliable confirms. You know, the down tilt into the dash attack, such a quick confirm to be able to take the take the stock, especially at those higher percents. But we'll have to see. I mean, it looks like ZD still content to tack on the damage here. Gets clipped by an up tilt into the clap, though. Oh, another up air to up air. And right now, Tweak is going in on this damage. But Fox, oh, almost gets the jump call out. But Tweak coming in with that forward air. Oh, Miss Face is at Nair. He has to be a little bit committed with that to get the landing snare that he wants, but putting him off stage one more time. Tries to get that down smash again. Does not work, but both of these two, a high percent situation. Gets that back air, turns around with that cross up. ZD so creative with his movement, and right now, Tweak is, oh, but he gets the roll away. The up smash will connect, and ZD is up 2-0 here against Tweak. He looks so comfortable, both in person and in the game right now. I mean, he's had a couple of close calls. It was a last uh, hit situation, but still, it kept us cool. And then even when he had the opportunity with the tech chase, they didn't go for it immediately, waited for the mix tech, and then just pressured him, kept going at him, and got that up smash on the roll behind. Yeah, and it, it was just absolutely crazy because usually in those last talk, last hit situations, you know, we see Foxes revert to like, okay, I'm just gonna go for the safe back airs and all that stuff, but ZD remained confident in his movement and was able to nail all these tech chases, which is really what you need to do with Fox. Yep. So we're gonna have the Wario once again here for Tweak, and of, of course, the Fox on ZD once again here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay, back air gets big damage off of that 31% already. Oh, here's the up tilt, big damage here for Fox. Almost connects into the up air. Okay, gets the grab, yep, it's gonna be good damage here. He gets, tries to get the reset. Oh, dash attack, almost gonna get whiff punished there. But Tweak still just trying to get back onto the ground. ZD also with the drag down. Yeah, I mean, didn't go down for the foot still, I mean, but still put him in a great position. I mean, ZD is one of those players, when he gets the momentum, he just does not stop. He just dares his opponent to try and come back into a neutral position, but he just pushes his advantage so far, and he's able to get that stock there cleanly with only 39% onto him. And right now, Tweak not pretty down quite a deficit here. Of course, he has the WAF, not quite online just yet, but it is going to be something that I feel like he's going to have to use to equalize these stocks. Yeah. Just air dodges through, just avoids that long-lasting hitbox on that Nair. Oh, tries to get the up air, and wow, really good neutral B coming out from Tweak. Trying to hit these back airs, but ZD's so evasive. Oh, doesn't commit to the last one, but picks him up again with the up tilt, gets that grab. Puts him off stage one more time with that fair, or excuse me, fourth throw. Oh, again, knows that he's going for that shield, and Tweak doing a really good job keeping up this ledge pressure. Okay, ZD able to get out, but he hits an up air. This is going to be big damage. The air dodge gets him out of that situation. The jabs, the pressure just keeps coming, and he gets the forward tilt after the roll behind. Yeah, uh, someone put out a video that uh, you don't really need to parry those jabs. You can just roll behind after a certain number of hits, and uh, that's uh, simple. Just able to get that punish, close things out, and uh, bring it back to even here. Oh, Nair out of shield, tries to get the tech chase. Also with the falling up air and the up tilt, definite waft setups. But right now, Tweak has the full waft online. Tries to get the tech chase with the up tilt. Oh, the falling up air doesn't go for the waft that time around. 
I think he wants to save it for that last stock scenario to be able to kill at a ridiculously early percent. And he's going to get that opportunity there with the dash attack, clipping him at the ledge. Oh, catches normal getup. Not going to take too much damage. Doesn't go into the up airs there. Great DI coming out from Tweak. But like you said, he has the full waft. He, ZD actually has to be scared for his stock right now. Yeah. Oh, and you, you, you can see Tweak's looking for it, those, those landing there. He's respecting it so much. Oh, and he just gets him right into there. Wow, yeah, the up throw, up air, not going to uh, be able to combo there, but able to catch the landing with the up smash. And ZD's doing such a good job at sealing out this heavy Wario at reasonable percents. We, we see him getting these kills constantly at 120, 130%. It's so, so important. Oh, the back air. Again, off stage, and the jab just trades it out right there. Attacking on the percents, I mean, of course, it's basically even game. I mean, Tweak and Lancey up tilt or something that he wants, it's basically over. It's just yeah. a matter of Tweak looking for it. It looks like ZD is not trying to stop. And one thing I really want to point out is ZD is not letting the fear of the WAF control him too much. And that's one thing players will. Like, he's still playing safe, but he's not playing, like, too fearful. And there's the up smash, and he's able to survive. Can Tweak hold on? Oh, that's another opportunity. Gets it down tilt. Tries to chase him back. Oh, the up tilt. Oh, the air dodge read, but he doesn't get anything out of it. Just a re-grab. Oh, man, and he still has the waft online. When will he use it? Oh, he's looking for it. Doesn't even use it there. He's so careful. He wants to make sure that it is the right opportunity. One more time. Finally does it. At 50%, the crowd pops off, keeping himself alive. Going to game four. Tweak. Another Ooh. opportunity to bring it back around. That was looking so scary. And Tweak, like the way he was getting those setups, they were center stage. So he wanted to make sure that it was a guaranteed combo. Or at least like read a reset, read a defensive option. But you saw how not shook ZD was. Every time he was playing that position, he didn't just spam an air dodge. He, did, he wasn't scared. He just jumped out every single time. But Tweak had the resilience, waited. He knew what hit he needed. He saw it. He confirmed it. And now we're here. Game number four, ZD versus Tweak. I was just going right back into it. Didn't even let us see what stage they were going to. All right, Smashville is the pick right here. Let's see how this goes down. Of course, two one ZD and man, that that's so crazy. I, all first three games, ZD was in control, but we'll see what Tweak can do. Tweak definitely a player, very very high caliber, pretty much known for being the best player in the world right now. So he can definitely adapt in this situation. Yeah. Okay, gets that fair, puts it back into the stage. And of course, that Smashville platform, not as dangerous as the Yoshi's Island one because it's not as big, but it's still very scary to try to bring yourself back around. Oh, but ZD keeping the pressure up, the dash attack does not, wow, the up smash, not enough. Directional air dodge for Tweet, gonna get him back on stage. The Nair, fair, not gonna connect. Oh, Ooh. just nice to get that forward smash, but just barely missed space right there. Oh, and he's just so safe on his shield, just rolls back around. Wait, he has the bike, okay. Yeah. Oh, almost SDing there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, directional air dodge is going to get him back onto the center stage. The parry, okay. Almost gets the tech chase there, but ZD catching the landing with the up smash. Very, very confident. I mean, as a character that likes to be in the air a lot to be able to get those setups, ZD is just finding those opportunities to anti-air with a hard punish, no doubt. Oh, yeah, exactly. Tweak trying to get this. Oh, but he gets the auto cancel. Not going to take too much damage, but nonetheless getting back on stage, tacking on that little bit. Oh, but the down tilt dash attack, almost going to take it, but not enough. Ooh, yeah, and Tweak trying to look for this back air. Dash attack, gonna get punished with that neutral air. How does he make it back to the stage? Just lands that in there. He's been doing it every time. And he's finally been able to find one right here. Tweak trying to find something uh, off stage, but not coming to fruition. Now he's got himself in a bad position. And ZD is just content to wait. Almost cleanse that air dodge, but not quite gonna work out there. Okay, but can Tweak seal out this stock? ZD is living at such high percents here with Fox, and Fox is one of the lightest characters in the game. So Tweak, or right now, ZD getting so much stock mileage, hitting the up air, doing so much damage to Tweak, but the back air finally connects. All right, but still 93%, that's right position. Oh, the parry! Tries to get the force smash afterwards, but not quite the opportunity. Up tilt to up smash, still not enough to take it. Man, Tweak is barely surviving at some of these percents, but the forward smash will call out that ledge drop, double jump. Tweak now down an entire stock. Yeah, looking really grim right here for Tweak. Gonna get those up tilts. He jumps out, but he tries to go push himself a little bit further, but the fair is gonna clip him right there. Oh, trying to get that falling up air. Man, right now uh, ZD still getting all this damage. Ooh, the jab, gonna punish that forward air as well. And already Tweak at 80%. Uh, Again, yeah. the forward air negative on hit. 
hasn't quite used that waft yet, so he's still got that trump card, but I mean, at these high percents, it's gotta be very difficult. He wants, like I said, he wants to be in the air, but he has that fear of that anti-air up smash. Doesn't even go for it there, just decides to tack on the damage. Wants to save it for a last stock situation. Doesn't quite bring it around though. Gets that forward throw, puts him off stage yet again. He tacked on a lot of damage here on ZD's second to last stock. Yeah, and this is looking pretty good. Sweet, getting some momentum here. But the up smash is gonna take it. ZD will be over Tweak 3-1, wow.